Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a love reading for my dearest Geminis. Gemini, we're going to take a look at the person you're romantically, energetically linked to and see what's going on. Um, if these messages resonate, I am going to ask that you guys like, share, and subscribe. When you guys hit that like button, it does amazing things for this video and also for my channel. And I just want to thank you guys for always showing up for me. Um, those of you who are new and returning, I'm grateful for each and every one of you. So let's go ahead and see what's happening with my Geminis out there and your person. All right, messages please for my Geminis. All right, so we've got the strength card in reverse. So in this deck, it is number 11. So you guys could have Leo in your chart. Maybe you're dealing with a Leo. We've got the Knight of Pentacles in reverse, what they're thinking or feeling, how they're viewing you as the High Priestess. Ooh, okay. Um, what you don't see, Eight of Cups. And final outcome or advice energy, we've got the Chariot in reverse. So some of you could be Cancer Gemini Cusps. I'm picking up strong Cancer Pisces energy in this reading, okay? So that could be you, that could be them. It could just be the energy that you're embodying. Wow, okay, overall energy, we have the Death card in reverse, Scorpio energy, so lots of water in this reading. So from what I see right now, you guys, this person's really stuck on you, but you may have zero evidence of that in the 3D. Um, this person may have just sort of I don't know, there's either been an ending or a separation. This person either stopped putting time and effort into this connection or they chose to move away or move in a different direction. It could also be a long distance connection, but this person, some they're walking away from something to come towards you, all right? And they see you, I might be, those of you who may be resonating with this connection, um, you guys could also be other tarot readers, psychics, empaths. Um, you're very mysterious to this person. And it may be also if you have cut off all communication with this person, Gemini, um, or and they're really trying to figure out like what's going on, um, where you've been, what you're doing, um, or they're just trying to get, if it's somebody who's new, you know, they might be feeling a little bit nervous. They're not taking a whole lot of action towards you um, because, you know, you're very intriguing, but maybe even a little bit intimidating. All right. So just keep that in mind. So the overall energy, we have the strength card, Leo in reverse. So this could be somebody who's not feeling 100%. Um, it can also be somebody who just needs to do a little bit of healing or pull back. Okay, and we get, ooh, the emperor in reverse. So you could be dealing with an Aries or somebody with strong fire in their chart. Um, somebody here was either trying to control their emotions so much that they lost control. Maybe they let you walk away. Um, it could also be somebody here, somebody here with the emperor in reverse, like they weren't ready for commitment or the idea of commitment is a bit daunting for them. The fool card, really strong Aries energy. So I think, you know what I'm seeing here, Gemini, this person, they feel really foolish about letting you walk away or not capitalizing, not reaching out, not telling you how they felt. Both of these cards are telling me this person was so like, and they're looking at that, how they didn't take action. I think they're beating themselves up about how they, maybe they even rejected you, Gemini. Um, but I feel like if they did, it was coming from a place of insecurity. Like, because I get that they, they feel like you're so like you're this high priestess, like so alluring, um, but your intensity can also frighten them or like attract and frighten them at the same time. And they, they might feel a bit like a page in the eyes of a king or a queen or an emperor or an empress. Um, so again, it's more about what they're projecting. Um, foolish card, they're like this, I think they weren't willing to take a risk here. Um, but now that some time has passed and it feels like some time has definitely passed, this person's taking a look at, wow, we get the Five of Wands and the, the Knight of Cups. This person's not taking action, not, probably not talking to you, but they want to offer you this cup, but they have so much internal conflict because of either the way they treated you or what they didn't tell you. Now, again, it's possible this person chose somebody else over you. Um, this person also might be trying to figure out if you have other suitors or you're dating somebody or you're seeing someone. 
um, if you're dealing with other people, but I think they're regretting their actions here, Gemini. High Priestess, they view you as, they don't know much about you, High Priestess and the Magician. To me, this is a spiritual connection. This is a spiritual union. They see you as your, as the perfect match for them. Um, the Magician card, they see you as magical. They see you as otherworldly and the Nine of Pentacles, but they also, they see you as extremely independent. You have everything you need. So I feel like this person sometimes starts to doubt, like, they start to doubt, like, does Gemini even need me? Like, Gemini, look, Gemini's having a good old time without me, um, you know, on their own. Um, and they may be trying to figure out if you are dealing with anybody else or if you're talking to anybody else or if you're seeing anybody else because the high priestess tells me you're not talking to them. You may have even blocked them or cut them off. They may have rejected you though and then you just sort of pulled back your energy, that Scorpio energy. This person has never let go of you though and they see you as magic and they see you as their perfect match. This person's extremely attracted to you, Gemini, but they're it's like they're also slightly intimidated or they or they know they messed up by not taking a risk or not talking to you. Some of you guys this person's walking away from a higher level of commitment. Um they might also be walking away from you know, like if this was like a self-proclaimed bachelor or bachelorette, or this is somebody that was like, oh, I'll never, I never want to get married or, you know, whatever it might be. It's like they're releasing themselves from that. Like they're, because you've changed this person. You've either shown them a different way of love, a different way of life. This person may have been way too focused on how you guys were different. You could be different culturally. You could have an age difference. Somebody here might be much more spiritual and free spirited and the other might be very traditional and conventional. So I feel like your person is walking away from convention or changing some sort of code of conduct. Again, they could be leaving a job. They could be leaving a marriage. Yeah, but I feel like they're coming in to offer. They want to come straight towards you. Yeah, the Knight of Swords. They want to come straight towards you. You could be dealing with a Taurus. They're like ready to leave something behind. It's like, and I don't know if it's just the past. Like they're they're having a hard time leaving the past behind. Either what happened, because I do feel there's some guilt and shame wrapped up in this Aries energy for not having a victory or... Um, I don't know if you guys can hear those wind chimes going crazy out there. That's kind of cool. Uh, I just got this energy of like wedding bells here. Like I think this person sees themselves marrying you. Um, it's like you've changed this person. And they. It, I almost feel they might kind of wonder like what magic, what spell work did Gemini do on me? Um, but we get the chariot card. Distance could be a problem. Um, you're not meant to take any action. Okay. We get the Six of Cups. This person dreams about you, fantasizes, wants to reconcile. And we get the Moon card. Again, Cancer Pisces, maybe even Scorpio energy here. Lots of water. This person romanticizes and fantasizes about coming together with you. They're completely stuck on you. Overall energy, the Four of Swords, they're restless and they want to come towards you. Now, keep in mind, Gemini, this doesn't have to be an ex. It could be somebody that you've just met or you were briefly seeing or it could be like a secret admirer. But this person, they see you as their person. They see you as having it all. They can't let you go. They are so affected by this. All right, let's see what else we get. What a reading, Gemini. All this major arcana too, the moon card, they've got deep feelings. But you do, you know, there is a little bit of a warning here. Um, when we get a lot of like fantasy, it's like you need to make sure that this is grounded, um, that you can make it happen in the 3D. Make sure, because a little bit of that Pisces energy is about like putting you on a pedestal or romanticizing the connection. And you don't want to do that. You want to see real 3D. Can we make this work? Are we compatible? So everything happens for a reason and it's time to make a decision. Yeah. Some of you guys, again, there's been a separation and that's helped them sort of see where, what they truly want. Like I said, I get this energy, Gemini, that you changed this person. You showed them like a different way of life or love um, or passion or something. And it's like, you're very different than their usual type is what I'm getting. Um, and so like, they're kind of like, I think they thought it was going to be easier to forget you or they didn't think they'd catch these strong feelings for you. Um, but they do have to make a decision about leaving something behind. So we get healing and we get denial. Yeah. So there was, there's, you know, Gemini, you guys could be in healing here. 
Um, I feel like this person, this connection needed to come apart. So you guys to detach to see truly how you feel. But this person, they can't get you out of, out of their mind. They can't. They are coming back in. That's what I'm getting. Um, whether it's going to be sending you like a Happy New Year's message or um, sending you something, you know, it just feels like this person's way more obsessed, but they do have a hard time expressing their emotions. And it is also possible that, um, you know, like family and like differences, if you guys are from different socioeconomic or cultural backgrounds, uh, religions or traditions, that that was something that they let get in the way here. But they see you as the high priestess and the magician. You are magic in their eyes, Gemini. It's over. Okay. Something's ended. If they were in another connection, that may be it's over. I love you. Yeah. So this maybe you needed this ending or they needed it to see how they truly felt. And please forgive me. For some of you, if they were in another connection, that's over. Okay. Um, or just the ending showed them how they truly feel. I'll be back. Yeah, this person's coming back in, Gemini. Absolutely. It's like come hell or high water, this person's coming back in. And they see themselves as like, you know, I know this, it's not a gender specific reading, but you know what I'm trying to say. They see themselves as your sort of knight in shining armor because we see the knight of cups and the knight of swords, like they want to come rushing towards you and sweep you off your feet. Um, but it sort of depends, right, on what they, what's happened between you guys. So let's see what else we get. So we have sophisticated. All right. And sometime this year. So it may be before New Year's. Um, they may come in. Um, they're planning like the perfect entry or return. They're coming in. They're going to be honest. And you guys are very comfortable together. It's important, Gemini, again, that like, you know, no matter who you choose, you choose somebody that you can be yourself around. Okay. And I think they're also seeing that they can be authentic around you. And look at that. Oof. Yeah. Passion off the charts here. I think they're a little bit worried that you've moved on. They don't really know exactly what's going on with you. Um, they see you as somebody who has it all. All right. So you, this person's quite taken by you. They're going to come in and give you a gift. Okay. You're manifesting the one. They might be manifesting you. You might be manifesting this person. And love language, quality time. This person, if they didn't come in and spend time with you before, um, and if you decide that you want this person back, and if it's if you can heal what has happened between you, um, this person's going to come in and be very loving and giving. I feel like they weren't very accountable for their actions in the past. They might have been like work could have gotten in the way, family, or maybe they just weren't really ready to give up the single life. So I see that regardless, Gemini, you are manifesting somebody who's going to be very caring, loving, and spend time with you. All right, and we get disguised, so some elements of this relationship are hidden. So, yeah, you might not know this person's ending something to come towards you. Um, you might not know how this person truly feels or how obsessed they've really been. But it is important, again, that you guys don't rush into things before you have all the facts. Like, don't get too emotionally invested because I do feel this energy of this person wanting to come in and sweep you off your feet. And again, it's going to be up to you guys about what happened between you guys. Um, and like I said, for some of you, it could be a new person. Okay. It could be somebody you work with. It could be your boss. It could be somebody you used to work with. Um, you may not have had a relationship with this person. So just don't rush into things. Take your time. You know, the right person isn't going to be bothered by that. All right. So I'm going to leave it here. Sending you guys lots of love and light. Um, if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you like, share, and subscribe. Also, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards that I'm using or you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. All right, you guys, love and light.